ดีค่ะ I'm here at Walters of Color Snack and she plays with food very differently. Can't wait to get her perspective. So let's go tie things up. That pretty is much, my kind of house. Much. We love to entertain, so this is like a perfect <gasps> layout for I love having to entertain. guests over. <laughs> what do you normally like to cook, or what do you normally like to eat? I love all kinds of foods. Mm -hmm. I love seafood, salads. I'm very big into produce because you get to see all the colors. Yes. And, um, so that's that's basically like my my favorite thing. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's go check out your fridge. All right. <laughs> Ooh, I'm definitely gonna use a lot of these fruit chilies. Veggies for salad, and you do love seafood. We have salmon, Let's and look at it. these cool stuff. This I just started enjoying from when I went to Peru. They were Goose big there. So yes, delicious. so good. Here, I'm gonna hand yeah. some stuff to you now. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got What's it. What's your spice level like? I am more like I can handle it, but not like too overly. Got spicy. it. Spicy. Okay. We are all set up and ready to roll. And look at this beautiful plate of all the veggies and fruit we found in your fridge. It's so colorful. I love it. I'm so excited to see what, what we make out of this. We're going to do <laughs> such an amazing, amazing dish. And then she had this beautiful salmon. And we're going to make yam pla salmon. You're like, what is I, that? I, <laughs> I'm not sure I recognize the, the, wait, the words. Wait, where are you from again? Moldova. Oh, yeah. I don't speak Moldova. <laughs> I thought you spoke Thai. <laughs> so what we're going to make is a kind of like a salmon ceviche mm -hmm. with all these beautiful fruits mm -hmm. that you have. So we really have the color of the rainbow. I'm all about rainbows. You yes. want to cut the salmon or you want to cut the fruits and veggies? I'll do the fruits and veggies. Oh I'm gosh, more comfortable with cutting those. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, I have less work. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where do we start? I love to start with the bigger fruits. Mm -hmm. Let's do these beautiful oranges. So we're going to section them out. And maybe I'll cut this, the mm -hmm. blood orange. Yeah, you lead the way and I will follow along because Aww. I'm sure I've been cutting all these things wrong my, my whole life. <laughs> there is no right or wrong way, as long as you still have 10 fingers? Yeah. Okay, I think we're okay. <laughs> you do need all your fingers for your artwork, which That's, are amazing. Yes, oh, thank you so much. So thank I you. totally was following her on Instagram. Please go check it out. How did you get into all of this? Into watercolors? Yes! So growing up in Moldova, after the fall of the Soviet Union, all of a sudden, all the channels on TV were filled with like all kinds of content, movies, films from the West. Mm -hmm. And one of those things was Sailor Moon, which, you know, is Jap I Jap love Japanese, Japanese, Japanese anime! Yes. I grew up on that! No way! Oh, oh no. Wait, what year are we talking? Uh, 90s. Okay, 90s are good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. And that's basically how I got introduced. Sailor Moon is full of watercolor, so all the backgrounds. I didn't and know that. Yes. Yes. Wow. And, and, and I been... feel like growing up with that just kind of made me fall in love with the, the look of watercolors. So this is what we call sectioning out. Since is you this, cut that in is half. Is this an appropriate? This is beautiful. Okay. We're going to take the peel all the way down uh, okay, to the okay. skin. Yeah. And there this is how you see it on those fancy restaurants on all those fancy food shows. You'll be like, why is their orange looking like that, right? Yeah, but why don't they peel it? Because you can just use your hands, right? No joke. Yeah. They like to make it harder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to teach all you right. that way. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Because I grew up peeling orange. So you see how that has the two white parts there? You're going to cut right in between that, and you have oh. an orange segment. Okay. That's what you mean by segment. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay, maybe maybe I see why why the peeling. Why they would do it. Yes, okay. 
How are we doing All over right. there? I think I... Don't look at the back of it, <laughs> but just on the front. Okay. Let me see. I have to inspect the entire piece of orange now. This <laughs> is the back of it. You're so funny. But I tried. I Chef Nikki, I'm trying. You are trying so hard. <laughs> Chef Nikki, I think you might need a little, a little towel. Yes, please. <laughs> Wait, did you make this? I did. This is so beautiful. Also, towels that are lint free mm -hmm. and they're quick dry. That is such a good feedback because <laughs> for me, I was like, I'm, I want to make sure the colors pop on this towel and that it's soft. <laughs> <laughs> that is so interesting. We're going to be such best buddies. Yes. So let's see, what else are we going to cut? Would you be uh, interested in doing some kiwi? Yes, let's do it. Awesome. Yeah, I'll All do right. mango. All right. Okay. You can slice or cube. How about that? I'll let you decide. Okay, I'll do cubes. Cubes, yeah. okay. Cubes do you normally fun. use the peeler for kiwi? No. Oh, what do you normally do? I usually just cut oh, in half. Cut in the scoop. scoop. Scoop, yeah. You can scoop. Do you think so? Yeah. Oh, all right. Why not? Let's do, it. Let's do it. And now I'm like, let me try the peeler. I actually don't really use peelers for my mango, but I think it could be mm -hmm. a lot simpler. Oh my goodness, this is life changing. Oh, look at that. And I barely am losing any mango. It's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, perfect Oop. and easy. I'm going to start on the fish. You can keep going on the fruit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you finish off the mango. Okay. And you basically turn your passion into your business. Yes. And I love all the things you do. And then Thank why is it mostly, is it mostly food? Yes, I would say why like 95% food. Okay. So I have a very strong connection to food. Growing up in Moldova, I would visit my grandmother in mm -hmm. the summer and she had like this beautiful garden full of fresh fruits and veggies and having that tactile experience of like harvesting strawberries oh or cherries, mm -hmm. red currants. I mean, it was it was just such a red beautiful- Red currants. Yes. Red currants? Currants. Oh, currants. <laughs> gotcha. I'm going to now put all the salmon in here. I'm going to squeeze out some citrus so that it kind of starts to cook up the salmon just a tiny bit. I still like to eat mine fairly raw. Mm -hmm. And then all this citrus, beautiful. Awesome. Do you mind grabbing the limes and I'll have you squeeze all of those in? Okay. Yeah. Start cooking the salmon right. in the citrus. It's amazing. If you want to learn more about salmon and its bones, go and watch another episode. We'll leave it in the description. It was all about salmon and fish tacos. How do you normally cut mango? I usually cut it like a savage. I just try to what? like, <laughs> like slice it away what? without slicing okay. my fingers. Please, um, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you a way to cut yes, mango please. for sure. <laughs> so there's a big pit in the middle. Yeah. That's probably what you're like trying to tackle. Yes. So in Thai people, they normally like hold it up, but let's do it the safe way first. So you mm -hmm. see the pit, you wanna put your knife right on the side of it and you cut right down and just go really close to the pit oh. and you notice that I have a very flat surface so yeah. I'm safe so I have one side that's like right next to the pit yeah. and then the other side same way all right that's a much better oh, way yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> and you just curve along the yeah. mango whoopsie <laughs> and then there's always these two sides as well and then I'm gonna do it the Asian style <laughs> And we're just gonna keep cutting all these fruits and we're gonna add it to our salmon once we got it all done. We have cucumbers, some onions, these beautiful gooseberries. Mm, so delicious, yes. Mm -hmm. This guava is so yummy. Mm -hmm. We have shishitos and serrano. It's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put two different sauces in this one. I'm gonna do a little bit of the gluten-free to add some saltiness to the dish. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pad thai sauce. It has some tamarind in it. And that actually brings out a beautiful bright flavor in the salad or ceviche that we're doing, right? Oh, sorry, blood orange. Here we go, a little bit of pad thai. Can you open that one yes, for me? Yes, of course. Uh, you don't want to pour it for no, me? No, I'll make sure you, <laughs> I trust you with the, with the measurements. <laughs> mm, okay, here we go. Two sauces. And now let's put in all the beautiful fruits and veggies. So we have the mango that's going in. We have some of the onions, gooseberries. Look at all the beautiful colors. I Is know. this inspiring like you? We're, we're eating a rainbow. I, this could yes. not be any better. I'm so excited. And we have some oranges, cilantro. Please do the honor. You want to stir it up? Yes. And then I always have to ask your spice level. 
I usually, I mean, quarter. I usually eat serranos and jalapenos, and so yeah, we can the whole thing. Yeah, let's do My it. My kind of girl. I think this needs some drama, Queen. I have some in the pantry. What? Yes. Okay, let's add it. Yes, let's do it. Okay, let me grab it. I'm gonna taste off camera. I have both of these versions, and we like we what? love to put it on everything. <laughs> it's so good. Which I'm gonna one? go extra spice. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How much are we doing? That's a good amount. That's it? Okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's, let's keep going. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, let's uh, eat. I'm good. Like, I don't even want to plate this because no. it's so yeah, pretty. Yeah, I'm so ready. I'm like drooling so over it. It looks okay. so delicious. Let's go in. Wow. Mm. <laughs> it's like an explosion of flavors and it's like, I could almost see the colors in my head, you know, without even <laughs> looking. It's, ah, it's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. Thank you so much for coming over. This was so, so fun. But I wanted to give you a little, a little goodies, like I a couple of little things. My <laughs> favorite, thank you. You're so welcome. Okay, well, I have a gift for you too. You get to keep all of the sauces and more drama queen. Oh my gosh, I love okay, it. Okay, we're thank gonna you. have so thank much fun. So thank much. you. Okay, before we go, make sure you have Subscribe, you have clicked on the bell, you have commented, watched, had fun, shared all this amazing funness, and now we're gonna go color. Thank you for watching, let's go. Thank you. Welcome to the watercolor takeover with Volta and Nikki. <laughs> I'm so excited, Chef Nikki. Oh, so I wanted excited. to show you how I play with food now. I'm wondering, what is your favorite fruit? And I, I would like to paint that. Okay, that's really that easy. Mangosteen or mangkut is my favorite fruit of Mang all time. Okay, is, is mangkut, does that mean ma mangosteen? Or? Yes, it does. Oh, very cool. All right, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So the shape of a mangosteen, I'm sure you're familiar, is, is like round and then it has little tiny leaves at the top. Yes. I'm just gonna do like a little sketch, you know, rough, rough circle doesn't mm -hmm. have to be perfect. And then we're gonna do like a stem. So that's like two kind of curved lines, oh. kind of like this. And then we're gonna add a few little leaves at the top. There's yes. four on yeah. top, but did you know that on the bottom, there's normally like a star shape on the bottom? Yeah, are those leaves as well? They're or? not, but it actually imitates the seeds that are inside. So you would know, oh, in this particular mango scene, you're gonna have six pieces of fruit in there. Or is it oh four or is it five? That is the coolest fact. <laughs> I had no idea. Wow. I love. I like to encourage people to not get too caught up in the details mm. because then it's like, oh, is it perfect? Is this, is this like the pictures? And mm -hmm. we don't want it to be. We and want fruit it. isn't. Yeah. There's no right or wrong way, like no. chopping. Yeah, exactly. As it's long as you don't like, chop your fingers off. That That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So now we're so gonna be cute. using these water brush pens. Mm -hmm. So the way you use them, you squeeze, squeeze on the container mm -hmm. and we're gonna start with a kind of base color because okay. the mangosteen has that very beautiful like reddish purplish type of color yes so we're gonna start with a little bit of pink or magenta i love that color so i'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of water into the palette just gonna spread it out a little she's bit she's coloring and i'm snacking <laughs> i think you have the better idea here <laughs> yeah i'll just snack because you better color okay keep going i'm looking and i'm just gonna start painting the main shape and you put enough water in there, I don't need to squeeze any yeah, water. Yeah, exactly. So I can go in any direction. I don't oh, have yeah. to. Yeah, absolutely. As long as you just fill in the shape. Gotcha. So I'm going to pretend that my light source is coming from the left side. So I'm just going to press down and drag the brush, lift, and then wipe. I'm gonna press press down, down, lift, and wipe. So essentially, we are removing a little bit of the color. Now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna grab a little bit of purple, maybe mix it in with some magenta. Oh, so pretty. And then we're gonna grab this mix and we're gonna do another another layer right on top. 
This is so soothing. Yeah. And the way, like, you know, it's a very simple technique in that, like, any shape that you're painting, if you have an area that's a little, a little bit lighter, you know, the highlight is, like, the light source. When you have those contrasts, mm -hmm. it creates, like, a really nice, kind of gives it that 3D effect to the shape. How's my 3D? Yes, I love it. Do I need more I, light? I would lift off just a little bit more, yeah. Is it, yeah, it started to, like, bleed into the... Yeah. How do you say mankut in Romanian? Uh, I'm guessing it would be mankut as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I feel like that's that's such a like unique name that maybe you just don't have a translation for. Yes, because it. it's probably not authentic to, or it's not a fruit yeah. that's from that region yes, or area. Yes, exactly. It's so cute. Mine looks like an eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just the angle. Uh, it is the, the angle of the picture. Yeah. And that it's so pretty. That's pretty much it. Aww. It's very simple. Like, just add a few little highlights. That is so satisfying to see that happen. Yeah, isn't like it? That. And technically, like, you know, if you wanted to leave those, like, really harsh mm -hmm. brush marks, you could. It's, I it's, know. It's like a style choice. Yeah. You know? Whatever, like, resonates with you. Okay. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. That was very, very satisfying. <laughs> How'd I do? Beautiful. I okay. love the highlights. Love Thank the you. shading. Thank the blending you. is awesome. I'll just keep snacking. <laughs> <laughs> so where can we find you? I'm at Color Snack on Instagram. Also have a YouTube channel and LinkedIn. I'm Volta Voloshin Smith. So feel free to connect with me on there. I love that. So please remember to subscribe. Click on the bell so you get the notification when we drop a new episode. And until then, kapun ka.